Most people like bell curves this much. I love them this much, but only this part of them. This is where the magic happens. The people who live here are the best of the best, the most of the most. They are the members of the Goat Club. To get in the Goat Club, you just have to outdo about 107 billion other people who've lived on Earth. It's an impossibly huge number to fathom, so let's put it in perspective. If every person were a dollar, then that would only be about 30 times less than the current US deficit. Even so, for every possible category, somebody is at the very, very top. Which raises the important question, how can you, or more importantly, I, get into that club? After nearly a half day's worth of thought and research, I've identified five different methods by which you too can be a GOAT. If you want to hold a record, you'll often want to go through an organization that tracks them. The best of these is actually a department of the federal government called the National Basketball Agency, or NBA. Since its foundation by FDR, the NBA has been using our tax dollars to fund human experiments on a few of our best, many of our brightest, and all of our tallest, forcing them to repeatedly throw a ball through a ring in the sky and then give press conferences about it. If you think you have what it takes, you can sign up for NBA and try your hand at competing for some of their most exciting records. If you're really good at basketball, consider trying to break the record for career points scored. The current GOAT of that category is a man named Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with 38,387 minutes. Fun fact, Kareem changed his name partway through his career. Nobody knows exactly why, but most suspect that he was tired of being confused with all the other guys in his bowling league named Ferdinand Louis Alcindor. The number two leading scorer of all time is one of my favorite players, Carl Malone. Carl scored 36,928 points in his long tenure as a federal employee. If you're not good at scoring points, you can still try to just do the most basketball ever. The record for most career minutes played also belongs to Abdul-Jabbar, who played 57,446 minutes. Number two is my man Carl Malone, with 54,852 minutes. But Jordan, you say, I'm not good at scoring points, and I probably won't live long enough to play nearly 60,000 minutes. Well, it's time to move on to the second way to be a GOAT. If you're bad at basketball, why not try to be the worst? Maybe you can have the most career turnovers. At the time of writing, that record is 4,576, and it's held by notorious basketball dunce LeBron James. If you're happy with second place Turner Overer, you just need to surpass Carl Malone's 4,524. But maybe you don't even have time to play long enough to hand the ball to the opposing team almost 5,000 times. In fact, maybe you only have time to do the least basketball of all time. That distinction belongs to Jamison Curry, who played exactly 3.9 seconds of professional basketball in his career. The second shortest basketball career? You guessed it, Carl Malone. Unfortunately, these records are harder to obtain than they seem. Hundreds of players have tried to beat Jamison Curry's record, but most fall far short of the mark and end up playing for a decade or even more. The good news is, there are other ways into the GOAT club. We now enter into categories that the NBA may or may not track, so you'll be competing against ghosts and phantoms. That said, you will almost certainly be the only person trying for these records, which means that you're likely to succeed if you put in any work at all. For instance, you could try to be the player to garner the most 8 second violations. Should be easy, all you have to do is fail to walk 47 feet in 8 seconds, which is something that I do multiple times a day. I don't know who holds the current record for this, but I feel pretty comfortable speculating that it's John Wall. Or you could try for something even more obscure. Maybe you can be the person off of whose head the ball has bounced the most times. We can't know who currently holds this record, but frankly I'd be surprised if it wasn't Keith Van Horn. Get creative. Maybe you could try to be the person who, uh, I don't know, made the most passes that led directly to a made basket or something. I couldn't even begin to guess who holds that record though. To summarize what we've learned so far, if you want to be a GOAT, then your best shot, by far, is to play basketball amazingly, terribly, or weirdly. But for those whose religion forbids them from basketball, there are other ways. 
An organization called Guinness World Records has tasked itself with chronicling as many non-basketball related records as they can. Impress them and you could get entry into the GOAT Club, along with a certificate for a lifetime supply of self-esteem. You might try to follow in the footsteps of Donald Gorski, who earned his place on Goat Mountain in 2018 by eating his 30,000th Big Mac. Surely an untouchable record, n'est-ce pas? Au contraire, mon frère. He holds that record by a razor-thin margin of only 126 burgers. You can also get there via hiccups. The late Charles Osborne hiccuped for over 68 consecutive years. So to be on the safe side, if you hiccup for more than four or five minutes, you should call up Guinness and ask them to send you a rep to accompany you for the rest of your life to verify your unbroken hiccup streak. If you've only got a day, you could challenge Eric Lineback's record of 5,800 Rubik's Cubes solved in 24 hours. But if you do that, it's recommended that you time stack by also spending that time trying to challenge Eric's other record, most gallons of Red Bull consumed in 24 hours. But Jordan, you say... This all sounds like a lot of work. Is there any way to get into the GOAT Club without putting in so much effort? Actually, yes. We're all competing in an incalculable number of categories all the time without knowing it. Somebody out there has eaten the most peanuts between the hours of 2 and 4 in the morning. Somebody has spelled their own name incorrectly the most on official tax forms. Somebody has notched the highest number of times staring at another person and then they look up so you look away really quick, but they definitely noticed. So the easiest way into the GOAT club is probably just to use some good old fashioned Texas sharpshooting. Empty your clip first and then draw the bullseye. As with most easy things, there are downsides. First, most of the achievements that are within the reach of pure serendipity probably won't feel very consequential. Of course, you're the one who wanted to be a goat without doing any work. But the second problem is, you can't ever know, in this life at least, that you've achieved any one of these records. That doesn't mean you can't speculate. For example, I assume that I hold the record for turning over a USB plug the most times in a row without ever successfully inserting it. And I'm going to keep believing that until somebody can prove me wrong. You, too, probably hold multitudes of unknowable, unfalsifiable records. So congratulations. Consider this your embossed invitation of membership into the GOAT Club. You've either worked hard or not worked hard to get here. And now that you're officially one of us, you are justified in going about your business while quietly assuming that you are special in some measurable and amazing way. But you probably already kind of believed that anyway, right? 